renovations can be exciting for some people and terrifying for others. Either way, it has to be carefully planned out, especially when you're renovating your kitchen. Well, tonight, Contact 13 looks at five things to consider. You're looking to make some changes. You want bright, you want modern, and you want upgraded appliances. But before you do anything, consider how long you plan to be in your home. A lot of people are worried about resale or they're worried about um, trends. Jeff Adler is senior designer with Wilbanks Kitchen Design Group at Fort Apache in Sahara. He says the first thing to consider for any renovation is what he calls the five year rule. If you're going to own a home for five years or less, consider resale, consider the next person. If you're going to own it for five years or more, do it for yourself. Next, create a plan. Jeff says that starts with focusing on lifestyle. The kind of materials that we would sell or, or or uh, recommend might have to do with how uh, well or how abusive they might be to their cabinets, if they have kids or not, um, or are they empty nested. Once you understand what you need out of your kitchen, you can start looking at materials. Counters, cabinets, appliances perhaps, flooring. But something to keep in mind is maintenance and ventilation. There's nothing wrong with trying to create a dream kitchen, but that dream will probably include a big dose of reality. For example, you want granite countertops. Along with a major price tag, granite requires upkeep. Or maybe you want a new cooking range that may require all new ventilation. Hoods are a very specific uh, requirement when it comes to professional style cooking. There's a recommended way to do it, and then there's the way you usually see it done, and those aren't always the same thing. Speaking of reality, remember that renovations are expensive, really expensive. According to Remodeling Magazine, the national average cost for a full mid-range kitchen remodel is about $66,000. If that's overwhelming, consider doing the work in stages. Don't worry about stuff you don't have to buy now. Don't worry about stuff that doesn't affect price yet now. Uh, let's just get something on paper. Finally, once you have a plan and a budget in place, hire a licensed contractor. Any HVAC, heating, electrical, plumbing, and uh, fire protective services would require a license. Remember, if something goes wrong, the Nevada State Contractors Board can only investigate licensed companies. When you go with an unlicensed individual, you assume that risk and liability and oftentimes have to go to civil litigation in order to recoup any losses. The contractors board suggests getting at least three bids for any job and they recommend never paying more than 10% or $1,000 up front. We have a link to finding a licensed contractor on our website. Just go to KTNV.com.